So RACE is a really exciting partnership. It brings together the universities of Glasgow, Newcastle and Birmingham. Together we are trying to find the reasons for the onset of rheumatoid arthritis. We're trying to understand why it doesn't go away. And taking all of that information together, we are looking for new therapies and eventually we're looking for a cure for this terrible disease. As a funder of research, Arthritis Research UK and Arthritis Care um, are supporting research across the UK in all sorts of areas of fundamental disease. And the Centre for Pathogenesis of Rheumatoid Arthritis in Glasgow, sharing with their colleagues in Birmingham and in Newcastle, are really tackling possibly some of the most important and difficult challenges around research to unpick disease, understand how it progresses, and then ultimately how to treat it and potentially cure it. It was really fascinating listening to the researchers here. There was and talking about tailoring drugs to particular patients. I mean, that's amazing. Um, this idea that in the past patients would be on drugs for a year, two years with no effect, but now we can look at that, we can take a blood sample, we can work out what it is they need and we can tailor the treatment for them. That's, I mean, that's incredible. It seems simple, but what a difference it will make to people. We know now that if arthritis is recognised early, we can treat it very, very effectively. I'm talking more about rheumatoid, I guess, but it, it's, it'll spread into other arthritis as well. So it's really, really important that we do recognise arthritis and, and there's investments in arthritis because it has to be recognised early. And if, if we have this aspiration to cure the disease, which we do, that will only happen if it's way up there and it's recognised, patients recognise it, GPs recognise it, hospital doctors recognise it, so that it gets spotted early, it gets diagnosed early and it gets treated early. I think there's um, a lot of things that you could um, certainly direct patients into in terms of getting support, getting help, being part of some of the research that's going on here, um, because it, look, it looks as though, um, certainly from speaking to some of the, the researchers here today, that um, patients get a lot out of that as well. You know, it's not just that the, that the research organisations get lots of information and lots of data out of that, but patients actually get a lot out of that too. In fact, that there's a a propensity, a notable propensity at least in Scotland um, of numbers of people with that condition or conditions like that. Um, I think that's something that I will take away from here and try and um, promote within the Scottish Parliament the idea that this is something that needs to be taken much more seriously than I think it really is at the moment. It's been a particular pleasure to welcome both colleagues from Arthritis Research UK and also members of Parliament and members of the Scottish Parliament to the University. We've enjoyed a rich discussion. We've shared the burden that the rheumatic musculoskeletal diseases impose upon people, but we've also shared some of the really exciting, innovative research that is being brought to focus on these diseases. And we've shared with our political colleagues the optimism and hope that we have to build a vision that we can be proud of for people with RMDs in the future.